Oh, okay. Guys, who would win in a fight? Who would win in an actual fight? Ratatouille or um, Stuart Little? Yeah. Master Splinter. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, but that's not even fair. Master Splin Splinter is like to scale. Wait, can we say Master Splinter when he first ingests like whatever biological goop he ingests to become Master Splinter? Stuart Little has it plain. Okay, I can I'm liking this discussion. But Remy has a human. Okay, let's say no utility is involved. And, and, and Master Splinter, Master Splinter is not evolved yet because his, his his biological enhancement is a, is an evolution. Or is a tool, I would say. Yeah. Because it's a tool for him to become Master Splinter. So Master Splinter is just like a rat. Like a very strong rat, obviously. Like just in a bare bones fight. Like we threw them in like a coliseum. This like a, a to, or a Beyblade arena, right? Because that's to scale, you know? Who would win? <laughs> Master Splinter still, you think? He's seen some shit. I guess if you're a New York rat. I'm squinting so hard right now thinking, okay, so think about it. Intelligible? Okay, you got a five head Stuart Little. Stuart Little's a smart guy, right? He's just he's just like that, right? He was born with the smarts. Okay? Master Splinter is like a New York rat. Now oh my god, this <laughs> this dungeon again. Master Splinter, like you say you know that video of that mouse that's grabbing a slice of pizza? Think of like that as Master Splinter. He's like grabbing that slice of pizza, dragging it down into like the, the drains or whatever in the street, right? So he's like a real street rat, you know? And then Ratatouille, Ratatouille's like Disney animated. Like he looks huge. He's a big guy, you know? He's just like, he's a pretty big humongo guy, you know? And he's kind of smart too, but he can't talk. I feel like Stuart Little's smarter than, I would outsmart Ratatouille, you know? Yeah, but he also lived in the sewer. Wait, Ratatouille did, okay, yeah, very true. So, so like, I, okay, so Ratatouille, is, that would make Ratatouille like the best of both worlds. Ratatouille would be like the, uh, Ratatouille would be like, he'd be like Mario in Mario Kart. You know how like each fighter is like got their own specialty or own drivers got their own specialty or whatever? Ratatouille is like Mario. He's the balanced one. All about balance, you know? Thanos would like him. Plague wins? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess. Yes. True. Why am I RP walking? How come I, oh, there we go. It's like, how come I RP walk by Rat versus mouse. Okay. Okay. So now, see, now we're getting some now. We're, now we're going, now we're going logistical. Just go straight. Uh, yeah, you just go straight. It's all good, Kaiser. So now we're getting down to logistics here, you know? I, I you know, I, I, I appreciate that. However, mouse smart. Mouse very smart. And Ratatouille is also pretty smart. However, I don't think Ratatouille is as smart as Stuart Little. I feel like... I feel like Stuart Little can like outmatch Rat Smart too. Well, we don't know that. I mean, I guess we do. Stuart Little would fight dirty. I think Remy would win if Stuart was the only thing holding him back from his cooking career. He'd win. Okay, okay, I like that. That's good. What do you guys think? Anyone else weigh in? Is, have we reached a consensus, or is that uh, or, or what, what do we what do we say to that? I want to know what you guys are thinking. Cause I think that's pretty. That's pretty good. That's, I'm pretty sure that's like, that, that's like 200 IQ right there. I really, can I just add? <laughs> I think it's hilarious that the first thing, the first thing Zora attached to was, as soon as I asked this question, she goes, okay, but Stuart Little has a plane. Like having a plane will make the world of a difference. It's not like he has guns attached to the plane. <laughs> I guess he could like, run into them with it. If he was trying to run away, I would, okay, I would give Stuart Little Stuart Little would run in a race. He could crash into Remy. Yeah, but then he breaks his plane. What if he can't fix it? How is he supposed to get away? He would crash and then he would like crawl out of the fire and flames. And then he'd have to face Master Splinter. <laughs> Kamikaze? Yeah, basically. He also has a boat. True. Okay. Man, Stuart Little's like the James Bond of like mice when you think about it. I like that. I, I think Remy would win. I'm 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 thinking about it now. Remy has the smarts. He's got the he's got the uh, he's got the ability to take a take to take it down. I think Remy would definitely win. The more I think about it, I think Remy would win in that fight. And Stuart Little doesn't have the he doesn't have the girth, you know, he doesn't have the strength to, to go against rats. He's proficient in knives too. Oh my God. Very true. And even, okay, let's say, 
even though we're not we're talking about not using tools in a fight like this i seriously think even though he doesn't have the tools to win to win i feel like if you're a master of knives you'd be like a master of fighting too you know exactly yeah it's very true like i feel like like every chef that i've ever known knows how to throw hands you know what i mean <laughs> Like any of my my chef my my chef friends definitely know how to how to hold their ground if they ever needed to. I feel like you know. All right, and that that makes that's the, that's a death battle right there. Now that we've had that conversation though, let's have another one. Okay, well, I, I pose you another question. Okay, this time with tools, airplanes, boats, uh, knives, master splinters, master splinter again. You know, and he's, he could like beat the shit out of stuff. What do you, now what? Now what happens? When we give all these characters that are, that are you weapons back, that are, that are mass destructive weapons, what happens then? Oh my god, this could probably go on for hours. I feel like Stuart Little would just do circles around everyone until they're exhausted. Remy has human, human can gun. Very, <laughs> okay, but you're, okay, I, yes, I hear you, right? I hear you, okay? However, think about it this way. <laughs> Imagine, like okay <laughs> okay okay you can't shoot a mouse imagine a mouse with a plane and a boat how how good is human with gun up against up against boat you know human can call exterminator okay it, but okay we're having a oh, this is like in the arena there's no okay in a logical world a human would call an exterminator and then the exterminator would be like I'm not coming into your weird death match bro you can take care of yourself you know also if he if the human calls an exterminator wouldn't that theoretically speaking mean that Remy also dies then what then we only have human then that's de that's a sudden death right there everyone dies nobody wins you know so I, I see I see what you're getting at however there's too many there's too many variables in that situation. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> this is 40 chess right here. It, it really has this quest. This 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 is a vault. Zora says, "Okay, I think Splinter and Stuart would kill Remy's human. I think I absolutely yeah. Think about it. <laughs> yeah, Master Splinter would kick the shit out of your average cook human. Are you joking me? Yeah, human can gun and use knives. Except Master Splinter's Master Splinter. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, sorry, the, getting real intense here." When is I'm sure, like imagine all the times that Master Splinter's probably gotten shot at as a fully grown as a as a as an omega sized rat, you know? He he probably has dodged so many bullets in his life. Not not only that, he also lives in like scummy like sewer like turtle universe New York too. Or wherever they live, right? So like he's he's seen some shit. Remember we said that part? He sees some shit. He's like a war vet, you know? He's yeah, they, like he's an actual war vet. Okay, but does Swinner have access to turtles? Okay. Okay. I want to say yes, but I'm going to say no. And the reason I do I say that is because that's way too overpowered. Like someone's going to have to nerf Someone's gonna have to nerf the turtles. Cause like it's just not you know what I mean? Except you really got you got me bamboozled there. You got me very bamboozled, I will say. Like my my head hurts thinking about that. Get Remy's human to cook a shakshuka for that critical four <laughs> plus four percent. <laughs> Gotta be high quality. <laughs> oh, thank you for reminding me by the way. Yeah, I totally ate before we did this. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to the turtles having their uh, being with Master Splinter because I think I think we're we're, we're then we're now we're giving them way too much power. We, no one man or rat should have all that power, you know. I honestly feel like Stuart Little might win that fight, you know, because because like he's so fast. However, if if, if Kung Fu Panda taught me anything, it's that animals that know Kung Fu and stuff. Are actually insane like they should not be forgotten about in such a way you know or disregarded about you know what I'm saying I knew death come between S Stuart and splinter and Stuart yeah I'm gonna say Remy's like gone Remy's out of this question okay Remy dies 
Yeah, Master Splinter beats the the like Mortal Kombat style ruins. Just ruins Remy the, the chef. And Remy and like stomps him. Splinter? Okay, between Stuart Little and Master Splinter. Guys, do you guys think Master Master Splinter would it? What if he was too tired? what if he got too tired? Except oh but Master Splinter is very well disciplined. He, I feel like he wouldn't get tired. Cause that's the thing, is Stuart Little would be smart enough to fatigue Master Splinter. You know? I feel like that's that's kinda how that would go. And Stuart could be flying around in his plane. It's true, that's true. But eventually his plane will run out of gas. That little plane definitely has like a battery. It, it, listen, if kids' toys growing up taught me anything, is that you know that those batteries got like a good like like five, six hours on them, and then they're dead. And then they're like dead, dead. And Master Splinter is very well disciplined. Wait, are we talking about Splinter versus Stuart Little? <laughs> Except Splinter is capped, he doesn't get the turtle. Yeah, 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 yeah. We nerf Master Splinter, he does, he's does. not allowed a turtle. He trained the turtles, okay, very true. Okay, but think about this, okay, so now the real battle, the real battle in question right now is Stuart Little versus Master Splinter. Now I know you guys are saying, I know you guys are saying Master Splinter, and I, I hear you, I do. However, what if I told you that, uh, what if I told you, like, what if, what if, because, like, we're saying, like, maybe Stuart Little has, like, his access to his aircraft or whatever, right? His little aircraft that he has in, the, in like, the movie and whatnot. So it's, like, maybe, maybe that's the thing, right? Who knows? And maybe he could fly over, he could do circles around Master Splinter. However, Master Splinter is very, very disciplined. He could wait for hours. He could really wait for days. Until until Stuart Little came down with the uh, with his plane. I have very strong rotted opinions. His aircraft is tiny. It's a toy, a toy. All right. Well, we should underestimate toys. You ever watch Toy Story? Yeah. Think about that. Master Splinter would win. I'm honestly thinking Master Splinter would win that fight. I think that Stuart Little had a good chance, and I think the battle between Stuart Little and Master Splinter would be so epic and long. Except Master Splinter would come out bloodied, beaten heavily breathing, victorious, you know? And like I said, if Kung Fu Panda taught me anything, it's that Master Splinter is God tier at just, at just being as just being the most chillin' dude, you know? If Remy and Stuart Little ganged up, like they do Sam Damage, maybe cut off a toe, but that's it, uh, true, okay, like, like Darth Maul, you know? Yeah, that Darth Maul fight, that's pretty cool. Wouldn't Splinter just squish with Little with one hand? He could, probably, if he could catch him, right? If he could catch him. To be honest, I feel like Stuart Little is the same sham as Batman. He'd only have a chance because he has cool stuff like planes or whatever. Yeah. What? I don't know, man. You ever seen Superman versus Batman? My god, I don't know what to believe now. My world is uh, turned upside down. True. What if Stuart Little... <laughs> what if Stuart Little, Little pulled a Superman versus Batman and built like a Batman super suit? <laughs> you know? And he like built up like a... Like a big, you know, that that because Master Splinter is definitely Superman, and and Stuart Little could be could be uh, Batman. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, what if he also just had rocket launchers? Sure, then he'd win. Okay, but th but like, yo, Master Splinter is smart enough now that he knows where the juice is. You know, his biological juice that like got him girthy and strong. He could just go get some more of that juice. He'd be like Bane, you know. Wow, we're just talking about Bane versus versus Batman all over again now, aren't we? Wow, we have, we have actually evolved. This is insane. This is the <laughs> thick splitter bio juice. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, dude. It's the, the green shit that he uses to like get strong or whatever. First round goes to Remy, 110%. Second round, Master Splitter. Emerges victorious over all. Awesome. What a great fight. Guys, I'm totally gonna upload that on YouTube. <laughs> the, that whole conversation we just had, I'm definitely gonna upload. <laughs> just so people can understand how stupid this channel is sometimes. 